Hi, this is John Marling, Pulse Research. Let's chat a bit about some best practices, suggestions to make a presentation to a veterinarian clinic. Remember, the most important thing on any presentation is to make sure that the business understands that the information, the presentation, is about and for their business. So as I've suggested many times, before you actually go into the presentation, make sure you connect with them and they understand that it's about and for them and the benefit, for, benefit to them. So for instance, before I made a presentation to a veterinarian clinic the other day, I said, hey, I got some good news. We just did a veterinarian or a pet related survey. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, we asked the same questions you would ask. For instance, if you did your own survey, sir, would you ask, do you plan to change or get a new veterinarian in the next 12? Yeah, of course I would ask that. And when you would ask about what services, what veterinarian uh, products or pet products they were, were going to be planned to buy, yeah, of course I would ask that. I said, well, I got great news. We asked those questions. And I'd be more than happy to share the results with you. And the benefit is to identify in that information specific opportunities to help you get new clients and new revenue for your practice. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Well, let's take a look and see what we can do to identify and get new business for you. Look at this. 28% from the recent survey we did said we plan to start, in other words, get a new or change veterinarians. That means that with our 37,500 distribution, there's over 10,600 households who are prime opportunity targets for you because they plan to change or get a new veterinary. Of course, they're also thinking, uh-oh, maybe some of our existing clients might be thinking of changing and going to somebody else. So it's got their attention. It has a high degree of urgency. It's very, very motivating. Okay. Now let's take a look at what the potential revenue is for you. Pulse estimates that a household will spend in the year an average of $600. That means that, wow, look at that, there's over $6 million of opportunity in either new veterinarian services, <coughs> excuse me, uh, money spent at new veterinarians or changing veterinarians. And look at that, if you just got 1%, sir, just 1%, that's over $60,000. And now here in the mobile presentation, and why I highly suggest the mobile presentation, is you can get the advertiser input in real time. You click on the editing pen, ask them what share of this new business that's up for grabs do you think you could get? He said, I think I could get 5% of that. Let them type in the 5% on your tablet or smartphone. Look at that. <coughs> that's over $300,000 that they have identified that they could potentially get. And by the way, in the mobile presentation, you can also edit the audience. What's the benefit of that? Well, let's say the veterinarian says, well, we don't draw from your total circulation area. We only draw from the west side of the river. Well, then you can say, well, we've got roughly 10,000 households that we deliver on the west side of the river. So you can edit the distribution to really nail and fit and be congruent with where they get their customers. Now, sir, let's take a look at and identify where there might be opportunities that you're not aware of. Let's take a look at the results of the research, the needs for veterinarian pet-related services. Here's the number of households who plan to buy each one of these veterinarian pet-related products or services. This is the number that we'll buy in the next 12 months and the associated projected revenue. You know what you've done in the last 12 months. So, for instance, with you know, pet vaccinations. And by the way, look at that. It's just almost 10,000 households we reach when the next 12 months will be getting annual uh, vaccinations for their pets in their household. Wow. Do you think you can get more of that? Oh my gosh, yes. I've only been doing about, you know, 400 a month. That's, you know, only 40. Yeah, I got a big upside opportunity there. Well, let's take a look at some of the other areas. How about annual pet checkups? Do you think you can get more there? Well, I'm looking pretty good there, et cetera, right? Now I would ask him, is there anything you're thinking about adding any products or services to your veterinarian clinic? Look at this. You can click on the edit pen, click on add products and services, and you go right into the research. And he says, look at that. I've been thinking about adding pet dental care. Boy, that's great. Let's take a look at what the opportunity is with that. 
I've also been thinking about adding to our services, and we got a new vet coming in to do uh, di disease diagnostics. Let's click on that. So you see here, you get their input in real time about other products and services that is important and engaging for them. Okay, so before we move on, in this part of the presentation, you're the consultant. It's solution identification, solution selling. Identify with them for them how they can get additional business by focusing in on specific niches or products that they understand, realize, identify they can get more business. So the guy says, yeah, I absolutely think we can get a heck of a lot more pet vaccinations. Great. So you've identified a solution for them. You are the consultant. Now I would suggest talking about a consistent campaign. Would you agree with me, sir, that a consistent 52-week pain campaign will help you get far more of, of, of those uh, vaccinations? Yeah, absolutely. And look at this. We now, for those of you who also have the Metro Creative Services, a link to Metro. So right here, you can click and go into their Ad Wizard, a live, real-time online library, in this case, of pet-related ads. It's pretty cool, huh? But what if the person says, you know, I like the campaign, the idea, et cetera, but, you know, frankly, I use Facebook and direct mail and stuff like that, so I don't need you. Look at this. When they bring it up, then click here on the three dots, and it'll show what they're missing with other media. So, for instance, he says, well, I'm getting all my business from Google search. Look at this. 88% of your audience in the recent Pulse of America survey have not researched any pet-related business. 88%. So if they put that vaccination special that you just helped them identify, you know, and, you know, and, and depending on Google search, they're not going to get it. What about Facebook? If they put that you know, fast, fast, <laughs> vaccination special on their Facebook page, they're missing 89% of your audience. What if they put it in their email that they send out? Missing 78%. What about their own website? Missing 55%. See, the reality is today is that there's a tremendous degree of fragmentation. What we want to do is show them what they're missing of your audience, okay? But what if they say, well, what do you have on Pinterest? Look at here. You click on the editing pen once again, click on add media, and just type in Pinterest, okay? There you go, Pinterest. Anything else you're interested in? Remember, you're the consultant. He says, yeah, I'd like to know about Twitter. Okay, there, Twitter, okay? So in real time with them on, their, on your smartphone or on a tablet, you can engage and build a presentation live with them, identifying and giving them solutions you know, to specific areas. Okay, they say, okay, I, I see that you reach a significant number of households that I'm missing you know, with my Facebook offer, you know, my email, et cetera. So yeah, but I don't know if that, yeah, I don't know if I can afford a 52-week campaign like you're talking about. Look at this, sir. All you would need would be 25, just 25 customers. That's just two a month out of the over 10,000 households we talked about just a moment ago who are going to change or get a new veterinarian. Change or get a new one. So they're highly motivated. They will be selecting a new provider. All you need is 25 of them, just two a month. Does that sound realistic? Yeah, that sounds... But how did you get that figure? Look at this. We estimate, as a member a moment ago, $600 an average customer at a pro gross profit. We don't know what your gross profit Let's work together here, okay? If you got a new customer, what would be the expenditure of that household over a year's time? Well, at our veterinary clinic, our average is about $750 for a household. Okay, so type that in, okay? And we make about a 75% gross profit. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that means based upon just getting 25 customers, it would be a $14,000 campaign. Just getting a little more than two a month, 25 customers over the next 12 months. Does that sound realistic? Are you absolutely comfortable, confident you're going to get at least 25? Well, I don't know. Well, what do you think would be the absolute minimum, sir? Well, I think the absolute minimum would be 18. Okay, so let them type in 18. Look at that. 18 at their net, or excuse me, gross profit of $562 per customer, they just agreed to a $10,116 campaign. Pretty sweet, huh? And then you can show them what the upside opportunity is 
because we're not going you know, to break even. Our goal is to make them money, right? So look at this. A, a seven-time return on their campaign is only 100 customers. So that's an overview and some suggestions on this week's recommended prospector focus veterinarians. Have any suggestions or questions? Happy to answer. Marlin, M-A-R-L-I-N-G, at paper.net. Thanks and good selling.